Islam says that women should wear hijab. Isn't this an oppression? And what would you say to someone who thinks that hijab is giving up your freedom? I think um, the hijab or the Muslim woman's dress when she's outside of her home is basically a command from Allah. It's, it's, it's something that Muslim women do because we believe that God, Allah, the creator who knows us better than we know ourselves, who is the all wise and who cares for us and loves us, uh, commanded us to dress a certain way when we are in public. And that just means wearing loose clothing, clothing that covers everything but the face and hands, um, and you know, being a, a dignified in our behavior, right? And of course, the same goes for men, but slightly with slightly different rules. There's nothing oppressive about this. In fact, women who convert to Islam and then they adopt the hijab, they often report that for the first time, you know, they were treated with a respect and a, and a dignity that they never experienced before. Um, what it actually does is it forces men who you're interacting with and working with to take what you're saying and the way you're thinking more seriously. And it kind of takes away the sexual tension from the public space. I know that in the West, you know, or in, in some communities, people think that, they, that we are overstating this. You know, we're overstating this kind of the sexualization of the public space. But actually, when you look at the statistics, you find that because of work, because of the free mixing at work, and women, obviously, like, you know, women don't go to work dressed modestly. They're almost expected to wear heels. They're expected to wear makeup. They're, in fact, they're, there's more pressure on women in the way they dress than there is on men. That kind of uh, mixture of free mixing, uh, trying to be sexually attractive to one another, etc., has caused so many uh, affairs. It causes the breakdown of family. So in order to prevent that, in order to prevent all of those kind of harmful things, one of the measures, just one of the measures, is that we have guidelines for dress in the public space. So some uh, psychologists, when they analyze you know, the way women dress at work, uh, things like makeup, things like heels, these are all kinds of sexual performance, or they can be seen as that. Now, as Muslim women, it doesn't mean that we don't enjoy some of those things, but we enjoy them in the right place in the right time. At the moment, girls are going through mental health problems, you know, because they're on Instagram, they're on these uh, social media platforms where women are constantly pressured and expected to look a certain way. They constantly have to show themselves and, uh, you know, use filters, use uh, all kinds of manipulation to present themselves in a certain way. This is causing mental health problems in girls and women, and it's causing harm to men as well, because what's happening? Men, because there isn't a culture of lowering the gaze, and because women are encouraged to expose themselves, men are be becoming addicted to seeing women expose themselves in this way. And so when it comes to marriage, when it comes to settling down, they have unrealistic expectations of a woman and vice versa. So I think there's a lot of harms that are caused um, in the way, you know, the immodesty that exists in society today, and Islam seeks to remove all of them.